happy birthday, Federal Reserve. It's 100 today. America's Central Bank was set up on December the 23rd, 1913, to stem a series of financial panics early on in the 20th century. Now, since then, it's grown to become the, the most important central bank in the world. <laughs> On the 23rd of December 1913, the American president signed a document creating the Federal Reserve System. Since then, the Fed, as it's known, has become the most powerful financial institution in the world. It was set up by then-American President Woodrow Wilson, seen here in Paris in 1919 at the peace conference following World War I. Then came the Depression of the 30s, the greatest economic disaster in U.S. history. According to the current Fed chairman, it was one of the institution's darkest hours. It kept a tight monetary policy, leading to a drop in prices, production and employment. The financial crisis of 2008, Lehman Brothers filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy with debts of over $600 billion, the largest bankruptcy in history. Current chairman Ben Bernanke on the left has since then followed a policy of quantitative easing, basically putting more money into the economy, and the results speak for themselves. In 2007, the Fed owned just under a trillion dollars of American debt in the form of bonds and mortgages, among others. Now it owns nearly four trillion. The next chairman of the Fed and the first woman is Janet Yellen. She will have to face the tricky task of tapering, cutting off the money tap that is QE. The Great Depression owes a large, uh, the Federal Reserve has a large part of the blame for that. The Great Inflation of the 1960s and 70s also can be laid at their shoulders. It's more ambiguous in the crisis of 2008. Uh, they had poor regulation the years before the crisis. That was a major contributing factor. Once the crisis arrived, they handled it uh, quite skillfully. Right. So but I think it's uh, overall a very mixed record.